There's no reason to get worked up. I told you we can share her. Oh, he ha he landed. Oh, he's. Oh my gosh. Uh oh, did you just cause even more trouble for Adrian? That's not our fault. We didn't do anything. He's the one who decided to start swinging on his friend. Are we mad about it though? Absolutely not. His friend, his business partner, that creep, tried to touch our character. And who knows what he was trying to do? He was trying to take her back to his. I don't know, his his evil lair or something, his dungeon. And Adrian, he stepped in. He stepped in and protected us, but that was on him. He didn't have to swing and do all that. So let's see what happens next on The Mafia Bride. If you enjoy, please give the video a like and consider subscribing as it really helps the channel out a lot. And without further ado, let's start the drama. It won't end with this. Try me, Vincent, you know it won't end well for you. Vincent scoffs before storming out of the VIP room, leaving a trail of his ominous threat behind. He can take his bruised and bloody lips and exit stage left. Bye bye. Nasty asshole man. Are you okay? Adrian looks at me with concern evident in his eyes. I, I don't know because that really happened so fast. It, it just, I don't know. What would Mr. Bianchi say once he learns this? I messed this important deal up. You don't have to worry about it, cara mia. You don't understand Mr. Bianchi trusts me with this responsibility and thanks to you, Vincent would probably never work with him again. I don't regret it one bit. He crossed a line. I couldn't just sit back and let him do that. Adrian strokes my <laughs> with his fingers sending a shiver down my skin. He touched what's mine. Excuse me? <laughs> He touched what's mine. When do we become yours, Adrian? We still don't even know what we are. You're still getting engaged to our employer's daughter. My heart jumps with his words despite how wrong it feels. Oh, it's wrong. I can't stop myself from falling for his dangerous charm. It's getting late. Let me drive you home. I absentmindedly nod my head, still dazed. Adrian pulls my hand and together we walk out of the bar. Oh, we're walking hands in hands. Let me call my driver. I see the revenge <laughs> happens a little quick. Adrian takes his phone and is about to dial the driver's number when five men suddenly walk in our direction. Their malicious eyes glare through the darkness as they circle us. What is happening? Adrian curses under his breath and pushes me behind him, guarding me with his body. This is so dramatic. Who are Don't tell me this man's back. Vincent? He showed back up this quick. You know what? I gotta hand it to him. He wasted no time for his revenge. Do you think I'll let you leave this club alive? Did he? He must have sprinted. He sprinted home with his tears in his eyes and immediately gathered his goons. What are we gonna do now? Just stay behind me. I'm gonna make you regret disrespecting me and revenge is best served immediately. I Go on, boys. Oh no, the men start raining bullets. It's raining bullets in our direction, but Adrian is quick to pull me behind a brick wall that is enough to shield us from the onslaught. Oh my gosh, we're gonna die. Not under, not under my watch. Adrian whips out his gun and loads it. Oh, 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 we clutching our pearls right now. He tightly clutches the weapon and peeks through the wall before aiming instantly taking down two of the men. Half of them <laughs> Let's run. She, the way she's running, tears in her eyes too. He holds my hand and pulls me with him, sprinting through the darkened alleyway. We're in the middle of life and death, yet being this close to him makes me feel safe. Okay, safe? Uh, sure. Oh, if, that, if that's how you feel, don't let go of my hand and stay behind me at all times. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> I have no choice but to trust him with my life right now. He tightens his hand around my wrist and the two of us run again trying to escape the rain. Just when we were about to drift to the left, Vincent steps in our way while pointing it at Adrian. Do you really think I'd let you escape? I was hoping. No one has ever tried to disrespect me. Our families have known each other for years. And you laid your hands on me for this. Who? I did... <laughs> For a second, he looked so sad. He was like, yeah, I'll do it again if I have to. You best. My eyes widen in horror as I watch him slowly pull it. The fate of Adrian's. <laughs> Not <laughs> Pay for him. 
they did not just do this. Let him get hit. Or you can pay to push him. They really said pay to make him survive. This is the last ounce of my goodwill I'm giving this story. I'll push him. My MC King said I did get some gems before this story started. Specifically for the story. I thought I was going to be a bigger hit than it is. But... I'm a, I will, we'll give him his, I'm not falling for this scheme again. My instinct kicks in and I find myself pushing, pushing Adrian to the side just before the bullet could graze his body. That was close. Okay, Vincent is caught off guard and I use that as an opportunity to escape. Let's go. Oh, who's this? Sir, please get in. Lena, I told you to stay behind me and let you get hit. Adrian's eyes soften and a hint of amusement flashes in his eyes. You're quite stubborn, aren't you? Hey, I, <laughs> I just saved your life. I guess you're braver than I thought. What do you think of us? I guess my life is yours now. Driver, take us home. Yes, sir. I noticed Adrian's back, which is all covered. All the scratches and wounds he got in the fight clearly visible. Oh my. I saved him from getting shot, but he still hurts. Adrian, you're clearly in pain. Me and Bella, I've been living this life since I was born. I'm used to this kind of pain. Strangely, this reminds me of the first time I met him and he saved my life even then. Oh yeah, I forgot he did save her. We, suddenly we hear, oh my gosh, this man does not give up. He's still on our ass. His skills are no joke. Let's lose them, Will. Yes, sir, Adrian, you're bleeding a lot. Oh, I was born into this prince. Uh, okay. My chest, I'm sorry. I, I was I was not going to pronounce that correctly. I apologize. My chest aches as I watch him sit through it no matter how strong he is. I know he is still hurting. Take me to your place. I'll tend to your wounds. He creases his forehead and looks at me in surprise. Are you sure? Yes, I can't just leave you looking like this. To my apartment, Will. His apartment? Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is a nice apartment. Wow. Oh my. He has a view. Make yourself comfortable. I surveyed the place amazed by the intricate black and wooden interiors. Bit minimalistic. I'm loving this. Then my eyes fly to age. You're just going to sit on your couch? All bloody like that? I mean, luckily the couch is orange, so it won't show that much. But, you know, let's, let's, take, let's, let's not sit on the couch. Why don't we just sit where it can't stain, you know? Our future couch. It's pretty scandalous, don't you think? What's scandalous? What is you being here unchaperoned? Um, well, that's not really our fault. <laughs> a chuckle bubbles up in my throat. His words sound ridiculous to me. Are you serious? Of course, a sheltered, pr a sheltered princess. Boy, we were sold out to that family. Sheltered. Our, our, this poor girl's parents sold her out for debt. I'm anything but a sheltered princess. I'm all on my own trying to repay Mr. Bianchi by doing everything he says. He licks his lips and slowly nods his head. Okay. Also, an assistant doesn't need a chaperone. Bold of you to say that while being alone with a dangerous man like me. Girl is all in her feelings. She is crushing. My heartbeat quickens the intensity of his eyes and the sound of his sexy voice is almost too much to take. I'm so curious to know what's inside his mind. Well, that's too bad, sis. If you knew hitting Vincent would have a price to pay, then why did you do it? Why did my safety mean so much to you? I noticed a gleam of anger passing through his eyes. You really want to know the reason? It's like entering a forbidden territory. Are you ready? No, I'm not. <laughs> no, you already got me earlier. I don't think I'm ready for it. Okay. Oh, is this blood is drenching. It's pouring out of this man. I thought we came to this apartment. You need to take your shirt off. To fix him. Let's get the first aid. Also, he's like mafia royalty at this point. Does he not have doctors on call? His arm looks stiff every time he tries to remove it. It must be hurting a lot. Let me help you. I think I need a hand. Now, sir, the hand you are talking about is not the hand you're getting right now. It's not helping that part of you. I reach for his shirt, gently pull it over his head. His piercing gaze bores into my skin, which makes me feel a bit, a bit distracted. Oh my, once again, why do we got this on the couch? I need to focus. My heart was racing in my chest like it always does when I'm around this man. 
Now, where'd the blood go now? I was eager to touch him to feel him against my skin. Now, are you gonna treat my wound? Oh, sit on Adrian's lap and see where it feels. Boy, you getting denied help. You look well enough to do it yourself. It's a little hard to treat you right now when it's a little hard on oh, you. Adrian. Sure I can do it. That's what we thought. I've stayed here longer than I expected. I will leave now. Let me take you home. What? You need to rest? I don't know. Then you have to stay here tonight. Oh, I can't stay here tonight. Vincent's men are going to be out there. You think he's going to let us slide? Why are we not going to call anybody and report this incident to our squadron? Are we just gonna let Vincent just roam out there? Your life is still in danger. So what are we gonna do about it? <laughs> what's gonna be done about this? Are we just gonna live in fear? What, what's, what's, what, what's gonna happen? How can I deny anything when he says it with those dreamy eyes? Okay, I guess there are many bedrooms in this huge apartment. I can take one for the night. Good girl. Okay, now get some sleep. So, oh, see, this is such a nice room. As I lay on the bed, all I can think of. Girl, you need to take this in. Go sit on the patio for a little bit. Take in the views. We, we need to live this up for the night. All I can think of is Adrian being in the room right next to me. The proximity is killing me. Is Adrian also thinking about me? In the midst of all these thoughts, I drift off to sleep. See, this is so pretty in the morning. The magnificent view from Adrian's our apartment. Yes, Miss Thing, this will be yours. I should take a shower and head back to the Bianchi mansion or else Ruth will kill me. We're gonna have to tell him what happened eventually. You might wanna, uh, oh, I see a crack. <laughs> Damn, it's the best body that I've ever seen. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know you were here. You didn't hear that shower? You just didn't hear that shower from outside the door. Okay. Adrian turns to me with his face contorted in pain. Oh no, do you need help? This, mm, mm hmm. Are you offering to join me in the shower, Lana? I know you're hurt. I'm just concerned about your wound. You're worried about me. You know I am. Then why don't you come and join me? Oh, she fell. Before he can even finish his sentence, I find myself marching towards him. She said, I'm ready for duty. I think you can do that yourself. Without waiting for his response, I walk out of the bathroom with my cheeks burning red. So now that it, who could it be at this hour? These, where is she? I know that winch is here. Oh no, Ruth will kill me. What am I going to do? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no.